Chartini say torches ever thought about how one country can have so many different kinds of places say hello to India a country where different is normal and being different makes it special from the snowy tops of the tall Himalayas in the north where the air is so fresh it can take your breath away to the sunny beaches of Goa in the south where blue waters meet yellow sand from the busy full of life cities like Mumbai the city that is always awake to the calm quiet country villages that feel like they haven't changed in a long time each place in india is like its own little world with its own special charm and prettiness whether it's the desert sands of rajasthan that change colors when the sun sets or the bright green tea gardens of assam that go on as far as you can see each place with its special charm invites you to see and feel something new say hello to the different places in india but india is not just about different places it's about different people too this bright picture includes many cultures languages and customs from the rich history of rajasthan the calmness of varanasi to the lively dances of kerala and the heart touching music of punjab each area adds its own taste to this mix still within this variety there is a shared sense of belonging this belonging from old values of understanding respect and unity it appreciates the idea of together indifference this spirit goes beyond the lines of group religion and faith creating a feeling of friendship and brotherhood in india you'll see a sikh praying in a hindu temple a muslim lighting a lamp for diwali or a christian enjoying the colorful celebration of holi here variety is not a wall but a tie that brings together okay chaos isn't always what it looks like in india it's like a beat the streets might look like a tornado of confusion with loud cars busy sellers and a huge crowd of people trying to get around but look a bit more and you'll see there's a plan in the confusion a piece in the noise everyone understands each other without talking there's a way they all work together that makes life on an indian street work The beat is seen in how a seller can skillfully push his cart through a crowd that looks too big in how cars dodge things in their way with a grace that makes it look easier than it is it's in the way people move live and share this place it's not just chaos it's chaos with a plan India is the biggest democracy in the world where everyone's opinion counts. It's a place where the hopes and dreams of more than a billion people come together to make a lively and nation. This is a country where being different is a good thing, where the farmer's voice is just as important as the city person's voice. Democracy in India is a big exciting event it's a time to celebrate people and their determination every 5 years the nation has a voting festival people from the cold mountains to the warm beaches come to vote they take part in deciding the country's future each vote showing the power of one person and of everyone together this process shows the true nature of india and its people their hopes their dreams and their constant striving for a better future in india democracy is not just a system it's a way of life uh is india a country or a continent this question starts a lot of interesting conversations india is very big and diverse it ranges from ice covered mountains in the north to warm sandy beaches in the south There is a lot to see and do here from the deserts in Rajasthan to the beautiful backwaters in Kerala 
each part of India is unique, but still very much Indian. The different weather, landscapes and resources found in India have shaped the way people live, their traditions and even what they eat. Even with these differences, there's something that brings all Indians together. The cultures of North and South India are a good example of this. The North is known for its fun festivals, detailed art and hearty food. The South is famous for its music, dance and tasty food. These differences make India's culture even richer. Foods like the spicy chole bature of the North and the sambar of the South are both very much Indian. The sound of the dole in Punjab and the veena in Tamil Nadu are both loved and enjoyed. Even the festivals, though they may have different names and traditions, are all about celebrating life, community and the victory of good over evil. India's many languages, customs and traditions live side by side, but everyone shares values of understanding, respect and tolerance. Different but one, that's what makes India beautiful, sums up India. It's a land of many contrasts. Each part has its charm, but all together they form a colorful picture that is India, different, lively and proudly democratic. Being wise is not something you learn. In India, it's something you get from your ancestors. This idea is true all over this big and varied country. In India, being old is not just about how many years you have lived. It's a sign of being wise, showing you have lived a lot and learned many things. This deep liking for wisdom and being old is a big part of the culture. It can be seen in all parts of Indian society. The lessons from long are not just kept in books or old writings. They're part of everyday life in India. They can be heard in the advice from old people, the traditions and families, and the lessons given from parents to children. It's a circle of wisdom where you don't just get knowledge, but you soak it up, understand it, and then pass it on. This keeps the old wisdom going. It's not just in the minds and hearts of the people where the past is kept alive. It is also seen in the old buildings and historical places. These structures have seen a lot of time pass. Each one has its own story. They show signs of the old societies that came and went, the big kingdoms that made and then broke down and the cultures that changed over thousands of years. From the detailed designs of the temples in the south of India to the big and beautiful Mughal buildings in the north, each place shows the artistic and science wisdom of old times. They remind us of the rich history, the strength of the people, and the age-old wisdom that has guided this country. What's most amazing is how this old wisdom still affects modern life. It changes how people think, behave, and deal with the world around them. It's this mix of the old and the new, the traditional and the modern, that makes India so interesting. To sum up, India is more than just a country. It's a living display of human history, showing the lasting wisdom of its people. India a country where the past guides the present. As in, the, in India, actions speak louder than words. A small nod of the head, saying namaste with hands together, or a light touch of feet to show respect. Each action holds a lot of feelings and messages. These common Indian actions are a quiet way of talking, showing how rich and deep India's culture is. They are like a mirror that shows the kindness, respect and understanding of people that's part of Indian culture. This way of using actions to talk can be understood by everyone, no matter what language they speak. It brings people together in a country filled with many different types of people. When you see these actions, 
you see what India is really about, showing how welcoming it is. You can see India's heart in these small actions, in the quiet talks that bring its people close. In India, being kind is not just something you do, it's how you live. India, a place of many differences but also unity. From the high snowy mountains of the Himalayas to the fun beaches of Goa, the busy cities and quiet villages, India's places are as different as its people. The busy streets, the energy of voting in elections and the lasting smartness of its people all show the country's special identity. This unity in diversity is not only about geography, it also includes the rich mix of cultures, languages and traditions that make up Indian society. North or South, city or village, different parts of the same culture come together to tell a story of unity. In India, unity is more than just an idea, it's what people do. It's in the ways that show respect, the kind acts that show humanity, and the shared identity that brings millions together. In this land of differences, unity is not just an idea, it's what people do.